Gujarat is no longer a dry state. Yes, you heard that right. In a progressive move to encourage a more globally inclusive culture, the government of Gujarat, which has long been a dry state, is now allowing the consumption of wine, beers and other types of alcohols located within the gift city. The government has visions to develop the Gujarat International Financial Tech City as a global business hub on par with other developed cities such as Singapore. So FL3 licenses will now be issued to owners, employees and visitors of companies located within the gift city that allows them to wine and dine at licensed premises. We are giving a huge thumbs up to the government of Gujarat for this game-changing initiative and also for recognizing that in order to attract international visitors and foreign investments, one must embrace global cultures and traditions. The government has categorically termed this allowance as a wine and dine service, underlining wine's importance when pairing with food and also its universal role in fostering communications, partnerships and conviviality. Cheers to all of us because Christmas came early and this exciting news about the gift city is an exciting gift for all of us. So go on and share this video with all your Guju friends and also drop me comments on what are your views on this progressive move by the government. Cheers. <laughs>